Well, two people are killed in a jet ski crash in Anne Arundel County after deciding to take a ride early this morning. WJZ is live in Edgewater. Paul Gessler spoke with the neighbor, neighbors about this tragedy. Hey, Paul. Hi, Nicole. Yes, uh, police say this husband and wife took multiple risks when they took their jet ski out here on the South River overnight and without life jackets. Right there between the sign and the dead tree. James Chartrand shows us where his neighbor's jet ski struck a navigational aid in the South River. And if you look hard enough, you can see where they bent out the ladder. It happened just before two Wednesday morning. Police say a man and a woman, whose names have not yet been released, went out on their jet ski at 1.30 in the morning and never returned. With using the jet ski at night, there are obviously significant navigational um, constraints with, with the darkness. The man struck that navigational pylon. The woman was found a thousand feet away. I was trying to figure out why he didn't know it was there. You know, because he knows the waterway. He has two big boats. Neighbors say the couple was in their 50s. They marked the fifth and sixth deaths on the water in Anne Arundel County since Saturday. Neither was wearing a life jacket. It's frustrating personally and it's frustrating professionally. Uh, natural resources police, I mean, our main goal before writing citations or anything like that is to keep people safe and keep them alive. And it is such a simple process. Natural resources police say drowning is typically the leading cause of death on the water, but it appears trauma played a significant role Wednesday morning. It's very ominous for, for what the next four days may bring. Back live now here in Edgewater. Now, minutes ago, we did get confirmation of these victims' names. Husband and wife Jeffrey Sessions and Elizabeth Howley of Reston, Virginia. Law enforcement urge anyone out on the water this weekend and the rest of this season, obviously, wear life jackets. For now, we are live in Anne Arundel County along the South River. Paul Gessler for WJZ.